On the edge of the great Dartmoor lies Exeter, city of Devon and of England too. Ancient Britons built their wooden huts alongside the River X and from their mud walls defied the Roman invaders. Centuries later, the Norsemen and Danes were repulsed and Exeter began what might almost be called the first British naval shipbuilding yard. In modern Exeter, history is evident at every turn. The ancient Guild Hall, claimed to be the oldest civic meeting place in Britain, originated in the 12th century and was rebuilt over 600 years ago. Today it still proudly stands with other picturesque reminders of the past. Queen Elizabeth called Exeter the ever faithful city. Perhaps she referred to its fighting sons, but doubtless the cathedral too affected her opinion. 1072 saw its beginning, but it took another two centuries to complete this noble structure. Quaint and mellow is an apt description of the cathedral close, where ancient buildings vie with cobbled ways in impressing their historic attractions. Exeter passed through troublous times in her long existence, but the close bears witness only to her peace. For several centuries, Exeter was dominated by the Norman castle, now, like the old wall, only a ruin. Yet at one time, both were vital defences when archers manned the walls and pulled their bowstrings with unerring aim. Near the castle is one of the city's public gardens. Here is evidence of Devon's climate, the subtropical plants that can only flourish in the soft warmth of the West. And with the West, we think of Drake, Raleigh, Frobisher, of a hundred incidents in England's history concerned with this grand city on the X.